sure. And, you know, that's just it. Uh, he needs to bring it every day, and he knows that. And, you know, see if he can back it up tomorrow. How does, uh, how does Dylan look different to you? Um, definitely more comfortable in everything. You know, he's been here a year. So comfortable in everything we're doing, uh, the language, the operation, um, you know, the confidence in the reads and, and the checks and whatnot. So it's just, uh, you know, he's pretty, he's pretty dialed in. He takes it very seriously. He's in here working early, here late. Um, he knows every time he walks in this building, he's got to prove himself. And that's like that at any position. And if you have that attitude, no matter who you are, you're going to get better and we're going to get better because of it. Anything from a, a physical, technical perspective that that you took from his performance last year that you, you would have liked to see him improve on particularly? Um, I would say just he was very good at what we asked him to do. Um, he did things how, how we wanted it done. Now he's got to kind of do it a little bit as far as operationally in his own flair, his own flavor, and, you know, be, be natural with it. Um, he, he needs to continue to slow the game down, slow the process in his brain down as, uh, you know, he gets, you know, we call the play, gets in the huddle or, or, or no huddle, whatever it may be. And, you know, to be thinking a few steps ahead and he was, he was good last year and going to the next step, you know, and then hopefully I think I've seen already, it's not as methodical as it was what it once was. It's more natural, there's more flow to it. So I think that's been something that uh, we've talked about and he's done a good job with. What have you seen from him in terms of leadership traits where I know that, you know, he's probably a big part of the summer play run practices and everything, but just generally the way that he handles a room and a huddle and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. He's awesome. I mean, when you put that much time into something and you, and you work at it and it's important to you, guys know that. I mean, you got to be seen. You got to be seen in the weight room. You got to be seen in the film room. You got to be seen studying. You got to, you know, do the right thing. He's, he does everything what he's supposed to do. So he's got... Um, you know, so he feels confident in himself to say, if you see something, say something. And uh, I think he's growing with that. And, you know, that's how, you know, I think guys will respond to him because they respect him. You know, when they see a guy doing what he's supposed to do, when he's supposed to do it, an extra, you're going to listen to someone like that. And uh, I think he's he does have some great leadership ability. Um, I think there's more to come at some point. But uh, I think his work ethic and his preparation allows him to be confident in that way. When he got the job last year, how much lead time did he get the full week knowing that he was the starting quarterback? It's, I'll say that again, sorry? When he got the job and beat out the other three guys last fall, how much lead time did he get to go into that opener? Yeah. A, a full week, a day? Or yeah, whatever? maybe a week and a couple of days, maybe a week. It was like a week, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that was, it was, it was, it was, a, it was one late, let's say, let's say that for sure. Talked about you know wanting a quarterback to be mobile enough that he's he's nimble in that that five by five box. Sure, he, he showed some you know some ability to get out of the pocket yep. throw last year. I, how close is, is his mobility? Yeah, he, that he's very, that he's you know he he's got what you want as far as athleticism in the pocket. I mean he's not going to run a four four, but he's got great feet. He's got quick feet. Um, he's got a good burst. Um, you know, so he's got what you want as far as, you know, pocket presence and footwork and agility in that five by five box and, and enough to something breaks down, get out of it, get you some yards and keep the chains moving and keep everything going forward. So he's got to me, he's got enough athletic ability where he's a positive for sure. Coach, if you're going to be a quarterback at this level, at the age he is, you've got to have some special traits. What is it that makes Dylan special? His work ethic. Um, his love of the game, um, you know, I'd say that's probably the two most important things that, stop, that, that stand out to me. I mean, he puts the time in and it's very important to him. Um, you know, we got, we got a few guys like that, I'll say that. And that, that to me is something that uh, he's not easily um, rattled. He's got some, uh, you know, some unique qualities as far as being able to, to handle the bad as well as handle the good and just move on to the next play. And uh, those are probably three things. How much does Josh Jackson change the dynamic of the offense? Yeah, it's, only two days. it's too early to tell. Um, you know, I think he's, he's definitely got some ability. We've seen some on tape, obviously, from somewhere else. And, you know, he's learning right now. And I think for a guy that just got here, he's doing all right, you know. And uh, he's shown flashes and made some plays. And, you know, it's not like he's – it doesn't 
look like he's swimming too bad as far as knowing what he's doing. And that's a credit to him and putting the time in. It's credit to the other guys teaching him and working with him. So I think over the next couple of weeks, we'll definitely get more of a feel for how he fits and what he can do as far as, you know, helping us. That, that wide receiver room as a whole looks a lot different than it did a year ago. Yep. Just, what's your opinion of that group and what it's capable of? They got a lot of talent. They're young. You know, we got, we got an arsenal of guys in, in the room and in the individual rooms and, you know, I, we, we got TB, Terrell Bynum, he's like the old guard. He's very mature and he's been around. He helps those guys a lot. And all those other guys, they're, you know, they're still learning and uh, they're still growing and their ceiling's very high. And uh, they're still at the early stages, you know. So um, I think that um, hopefully sooner than later, eventually, I think they're going to make a hell, heck of a lot of plays around here. And we look forward to seeing it. You mentioned Bynum. Um, seems like that reliable guy. And obviously, he's done for a couple of years here. What do you like about what he? he he's about? smart. Um, you know, he's fast, <laughs> which helps. You know, um, he's got a great demeanor too. I mean, even last year on the sidelines, sometimes I was talking to him. It was like we were sitting down having a cup of coffee. <laughs> you realize what time you know what the score is right now, what the point of the game is, and. He's just having a normal conversation. Sometimes guys are excited or whatever it may be. And he's pretty, he was pretty flatlined and pretty, um, you know, <laughs> level headed for, uh, for someone in a, you know, a pressure situation, so to speak. So I think that that's just comes from experience and his confidence in himself and the experience that he's played in games. So that's, that's a big help to, I think, the younger guys to see how he kind of handles all that. How do you see the running back room kind of shaking? Out? <laughs> I don't know. Any thoughts? What do you see? Uh, you know, we got two groups going. We got we got guys going with all different types of lines and stuff and and whatnot. So um, I hopefully it'll shake itself out here. Um, like I said, you know, we, we tell our guys, you know, we have our offense. We, you know, it, it's an arsenal. We got guys in as a group, as a whole, and we got guys in each position room, and they're no different. And they're going to battle it out. Like, you know, ideally, in a perfect world, like any other position, we'll be able to be three wides out there, four or three tight ends or two. You know, we have the capability of being that offense, but everyone's got to prove it. If the wideouts are the guys that prove it, then we'll be three wides. If the tight ends, then we'll go three tight ends. We can do a lot of things with three tight ends. And if they're all doing it, including the backs, then everybody's going to you know, get their share. And we got to be unselfish because there are, there are a lot of, potentially a lot of guys that can make a lot of plays for us. So I think everyone's going to earn the right to play. And hopefully that it'll pop to us and, and, it'll, and the guys will see it. And when they're in there, they do their job. And when they're not, the root for the guys that are and get ready when their chance is called, when their number's called. Coach, what have you seen uh, the progression of Sam Adams from the spring where we didn't really see a whole ton of him yeah. out through the fall where he, he seemed to have a really good day today and a couple nice runs? Yeah, he's, he's definitely been a pleasant surprise. I mean, he, uh, you know, it's it's been tough go for him because he hasn't really been able to be out there and he looks good and he's got some twitch to him and, um, you know, some natural vision and I like him as a kid. And, you know, so I think he's another guy that, you know, it'll be interesting to see how he develops because in two days for not having really done much, he kind of popped, you know, a little bit. So I'm, I'm excited for him and excited for that room and excited for the offense and see where it goes. All right. Get Terrell up here and doing behind him. So we'll get TB! Demo! Let's go!